let's look at mk temp this command helps us to create temporary files and folders the first example is creating a temporary file at the current location the syntax for that is the command followed by a template and this template is used by the command to create the actual file name the template has two parts the first part is specified by the user and it can be anything that the user wants it to be the second part is specified in capital x and this is replaced by the command with random characters to build the file name if we run this command it returns the name of the file that was just created and we can see that the capital x part has been replaced with random uh, characters if we run it multiple times it creates multiple temporary files by changing the capital x part of the name template so that there are no name collisions the capital x part of the name can be anywhere in that template it doesn't have to be at the end or at the beginning it it has to have a minimum of three consecutive characters in a group so that the command can replace it with random characters if there are too few to replace and generate the file name the command will complain that there are too few characters that it can uh, replace in the template so that's creating temporary files the second example is creating a temporary directory uh, at the current location the syntax for that is the command followed by the dash d option for directories and we specify the directory name in a template just as we did for files it has two parts one is specified by the user and the second part is specified in capital x for the command to use if we run this mktemp returns the name of the directory that it just created and the capital x part of the template is replaced with random characters let's look at the permissions that mktemp has set for these temporary files and the folder for temporary files that it creates the command assigns read and write permissions for just the user and for the folder the command has assigned read write and execute permissions for that particular user the execute permission so that the user is able to add and remove files to that directory the third example is creating a temporary file at a specific location the syntax for that is the command followed by the dash p option with the location where we want the file to be created we have already created a directory and let's reuse that directory as the destination and we specify the file name as a template as before with two parts if we run this command mktemp creates a file which is this in this directory which is specified in the dash p option and it returns the absolute path of the newly created temporary file so where is this useful we can create a temporary file and store the return which is the absolute path of that file in a variable look at the content of that file it is empty because it was just created we can add some content to that file look at the contents again and let's assume that we are done with that temporary file we can just remove it by using that variable name and if we try to access that file again there is no such file so this is useful in shell scripts when we want to create a temporary file add some data to it and once we are done with that file we just remove it as we just saw 
and it's very useful to use in shell scripts.